Hi everyone. The issue that we're going to look at today in CPQ is that let's suppose we have some product options in a product bundle. And when I add them using the configure product page, and then when I click on save, going to the edit code page, I'm not able to edit the quantity of those product options. So what is the issue and how it could be fixed? So let's look at it quickly. So let's say this is my quote. I'm going to that quote and edit lines. I'm adding a product. Let's say the name is test bundle. Here I have three products. I'm adding all of them and clicking on save. Now I'm in my edit code page. Here I, I see that uh, the quantity is not editable. It is locked here. This is the issue. Now, what is the reason for this issue is that the options that we have, they are of type component. So let me quickly go to the product or let that screen be open actually. Okay, let me go to the product. Test bundle was the product. In that, I had three options, right? Asset based product one, product two, and percent of total. So I went to one of the product, which is asset based product one. And here I could see that the type is component. Now, there are three possible values in this. And if you want to edit the quantity in the edit code page, you should always make it related product. So let me do a save. I come here. Again, go to the quotes. Edit lines. Add product. Test bundle. Add it, select it. Save. Now you will see the other two types. I didn't change the type, but, but for the first one, I changed the type to related product from component. So that's why I'm able to edit it. Now let me make it two. So I'm able to do it. Now, what is the basic difference between these three types is that let's keep all of them in like different uh, configuration. Let's say we have kept the asset based product one as related. We let the asset base two as component. And what I'll do is the third option that I had, right? Percent of total. That I'm going to make it as the second type that is accessory. So you will figure out the difference between these three. Let me again go to the code. Edit lines. Add product. Test bundle. Select. So what am I doing here is my asset based product two is a component based product. When we have a component based product, what do we say is here we can define the quantity. Let's say two. Now let's assume that this was a uh, 
but let's keep it one so I could explain you what I mean to say. Let, let's keep it one, okay? Now, what here I mean to say is whenever the type of a product option is component, it would multiply itself with the number of actual product that we have. So here the actual product is test bundle, right? So let's suppose it was laptop. So my bundle product was laptop and instead of a set based product two, assume it was a keyboard. So with one laptop uh, or, or let's say it's a desktop, okay? With one desktop, I'm only selling one keyboard. But if there are two desktops, the number of keyboards needs to multiply, right? Because I cannot sell two desktop with one keyboard, right? I need to provide two keyboards. So that is a kind of a product where we would let it be as component. Now, the next type of product is accessory. So I think we have made the third product, which is percent of total product as an accessory. Now, this type of product option that we have does not multiply with the uh, with the product that we are buying. So, um, how do I, what example should I take? Um, let's say we are selling a What do what example? I don't know. So I'll try to explain the concept. Let's say with a test bundle, doesn't matter if I multiply the number of like increase the number of test bundles. So let's say instead of one product, I'm going to sell the same product in the quantity of three. So three test bundles, let's suppose I've sold. But that does not mean I would want to you know, sell three of uh, the options also. I would just want to sell one of it. Does not matter the um, number of uh, products. So let's say um, I'm buying groceries, okay? So this, instead of test bundle, assume that it was groceries, okay? And instead of percent of total product, assume it was a bag. Now, let's say the number of grocery items multiplies to three or let's say I increased it to five. Still, I would only want to, you know, give one bag as a complimentary. Okay. And I wouldn't want to edit that. So that would be an accessory product. But let's say... If I am, uh, if the bag is not chargeable and I could go and edit the number of bags that I want to provide, then that type of product option comes in the category of third type, which is related product. So let's say if I multiply a product, let's say earlier my grocery items were three, but now the grocery items are five. Now, if I'll select a bag, and that bag was an accessory type of product. I select that and I do save. When I go to the edit code page, right, there will be no scope to edit the number of bags. But had it been a related product, then in my edit code screen also, I could make that number of bags from one to two or to three or whatever I like. So I'll now show you the example, I'm selecting all the three products and I'm clicking on save. Now my asset based product two is a component. So it's not editable. Okay, we look at it one by one. Now let's say uh, this, the main bundle, it's quantity right now is one, but let's say I'm buying four of it and then hit calculate. Only the component type of product, which was a set based product to multiplies itself. So if I'm selling four test bundles, I have to sell for a set based product to along with it. But accessory product, which is this does not multiply and neither can I edit it. But 
a related product which is a set based product one does not multiply but if i want to increase it i could increase it so let's say i want to provide three of them and hit calculate like there's nothing to calculate now but yeah accordingly the price would multiply so that's the difference between these products uh types of product options i mean so yeah if this video helped please like share and subscribe thank you